Hello, you are welcome. How to find the value of x in this Olympia problem? From here, we can rewrite this, and this will be 6 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x equals to 2 raised to the power 2x times 2 raised to the power 1. When we separate this from law of indices, and also in the next step, this will become 6 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x equals to 2 raised to the power 2 here, that's 4, then 4 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power 1. Then from here, let's divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x. Divide this side by 4 raised to the power x, then divide this side by 4 raised to the power x. So 4 raised to the power x will cancel each other from here, and this will reduce to 6 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x divided by 4 raised to the power x equals to 2 and in the next step we can separate this fraction from here so this is 6 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power x equals to 2 from here and in the next step we can rewrite this and then from here we have the same power here we bring the power out we have 6 over 4 or raised to the power x and similarly here we have plus 9 over 4 or raised to the power x equals to 2 from here then in the next step we can reduce this number in bracket 2 we go here that's 3 over 2 raised to the power x and also from here plus here we can express 9 as 3 square then 4 as 2 square that's 3 square over 2 square raised to power x equals to 2 and also we can bring this power out of the bracket and this will be 3 over 2 raised to power x plus 3 over 2 raised to power 2 then raised to power x equals to 2 and also we can interchange this power from the law of indices since they multiply we can bring this one out take this one in and this will be 3 over 2 raised to power x plus 3 over 2 raised to power x then raised to power 2 then equals to 2 here we have what is common here as 3 over 3 raised to power x so let u now be equals to 3 over 2 raised to power x. Then this equation will become u plus u square equals to 2. We take 2 to this side. So as we form an equation, then this will become u plus u square plus u m minus 2 equals to 0. We rearrange to form a quadratic equation. And we can factorize this and this becomes u squared plus 2u minus u minus 2 equals to 0. Because from here, 2u minus u will give us u. And also when we multiply it, we are going to have minus 2u squared. Then from here, we group this one together to 2. We factor what is common from this first bracket. u is common. We take u out. Then we have u plus 2 left. Then also from here, minus 1 is common. We have u plus 2 left, which is equal to 0. And from here, u plus 2 common, take it out, u plus 2 times u minus 1 equals to 0. And from here, we have two cases here. We have u plus 2 equals to 0, or we have u minus 1 equals to 0. So from here, u equals to minus 2 and here u equals to 1 and don't forget we represented u as 3 over 2 to the power of x and here is equals to minus 2 so we have positive number here this is negative so this cannot be equal so no solution from here then on this side we have 3 over 2 raised to power x as u then equals to 1 and when we have 1, it's something as raising a number to 0. So we can say this is 3 over 2 
raised to the power x equals to 3 over 2 all raised to the power 0 because here we are going to have 1. Then we can say the base are equal here. Then we equate the power, then x will be equal to 0. So here we have the solution to this problem as x will be equal to 0. We can also confirm to check if this satisfies the given problem. And we put x equals to 0 in the given uh, equation there. So we have 6 raised to power 0 now. This becomes 6 raised to power 0 plus 9 raised to power 0. We leave it equals to 2 raised to power 2 times 0 plus 1. And then when we check from here, we discover that 6 raised to power 0 will give us 1 plus 9 raised to power 0 as 1 equals to here we have 2 raised to power 2 times 0 here, that's 0 plus 1, that's 2 raised to power 1. So we have 1 plus 1 here, we give us 2, then which is equals to 2 raised to power 1, also 2. So left hand side equals to right hand side. Then we can conclude that here x is equals to 0 is the solution here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video. See you in the next class and bye. Or not.